POTUS Fight Night brought to you by Culture Kings. Here we go. Man landing a couple of jabs early off. He's going to try and establish that. That's our first real tussle of the evening tonight. Both fighters trying to find Ryan Julie here. That's a powerful start to the opening bout. A patient start here between these two fighters. It's certainly a more tentative start to the last bout, but Mikey seems to be picking up confidence. He's landing a few left hooks. Halgan, the black trunks, Bashir, the black trunks with gold trim. Trying to find a left hook there. Mikey held and evading it on that occasion. Bashir, all of that experience. Calls from the corner to let the hands go. Bashir backing up, but Held stalks him. Bashir moving around a lot on the ropes. Okay. Mikey can't seem to pin him down to any corner. If he can pin him down and keep him in one spot, he can start to open up. He's tried to land the left hook a couple of times, mm -hmm. Held, and Bashir evading it on a couple of occasions. To win a boxing fight, you need to actually stand there and throw, though. You can't keep just moving around. Just under 60 seconds remaining in the opening round of four. The second fight of the night on the card, the POTUS card. Our thanks to Culture Kings, Deval Group, Staff For You, Green Soda. And all of the sponsors involved putting this together. It's been a tough old time the last couple of years. Big left hook. Finds it on the chin. Does held. Both fighters seem to be landing the jab and left hand quite a bit, but missing quite a lot with the backhand. Except for knock down. Mikey's starting to find himself, find his punches. Looks for the uppercut. Found the right hand just moments ago. Did held. Uh, now starting to connect, getting through the defense of Mo Bashir. Now he's backed him up into the corner. He's starting to dig the body now, which is a good move. To get Mo to drop those hands. Round one in the books. Mikey Held toward the end of that one, starting to find his range and some of his shots, David. Yeah, I think he's he's struggling a little bit with the uh, movement and high guard of Bashir, but he's starting to crack him open and figure him out. Give him a bit of time. If there isn't really any change from Mo Bashir, it, it could be an early night for him. Plenty of boxing coming your way on Sky. Sunday, the 5th of June, George Ferocious Cambosos Jr. against Devin Haney for the WBO, IBF, WBA and WBC lightweight belts. That'll be a crack of that card. David Nika, Junior Far, Himi Ahio also on a stacked undercard, David Light. So much to look forward to on Sky. Oh, yeah. I mean, Cambosos' fight against Lopez was just such an inspirational fight uh, for all people coming from the Southern Hemisphere. You know, the forgotten people down under, you know, Usually we're thrown up and they get just to fall over against those guys, but Cambosis really showed what, what we can do down here. And, you know, for it to be stacked with all those Kiwis as well is just such an awesome event. Sky.co.nz, book it on Sky Arena, but it's POTUS fight night at the moment. Brought to you by Culture Kings. Second of six, Mikey Helg against the veteran Mo Bashir. And our oh. co combination from Bashir there. He needs to do more of that. He needs to try and back Mikey up a little bit. Mikey's a little bit flat-footed. So if he gets some momentum going forward, he can expose Mikey in, that, in those areas. But he keeps jumping right out and hanging out on the ropes, which is just really Mikey seems to want to keep him. 
Haug certainly the aggressor on the front foot, backing up Boucher, but starting to find some counter punches. Happy to stay on the outside if you can. And that guard that was up in the first round starting to slip a little. And have to be careful the power of Haug. Oh, nice uppercut there, good combination. He started this round better, did Mobashir, but he needs to get back into actually throwing punches rather than just moving or holding a high guard. He's landing some jabs. He's landing a few right hands when he really steps in forward. If he can maintain that, he can start to pull, shift the momentum back in his favor. Again, yeah, backing him up, Hal, doing a good job of it. Second of four, three-minute rounds. The second fight of the night here, wow. and he connects with the right hand. Does Held? He felt that one. He's really starting to open up now. He's starting to throw a lot of left body rips, left uppercuts, following it with the right hand. It's starting to crack open that shell that Mo's trying to create. There's a right hand. Beautiful right hand counter. And so Mikey's got to not be overconfident here because that's what will happen to him more. He's connected with Helg as Mobashir knows he can land it. Sucking in the big ones, both of these fighters. A debut for Mikey Helg out of the box office. He still looks very confident, does Mikey? He's still keeping him on the ropes, but he is eating a few shots. He needs to tidy up a little bit and just be a little bit more weary of what can come back at him. Bashir looking for an opening, been on the scene a long time. Now Held just trying to let go with the left and the right. Round two. Round two in the can, Held Bashir. And you can see. David, the energy levels of both fighters are really starting to take a toll, sucking them in. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've watched Mikey in the gym, I've uh, visited there and seen him do lots of sparring with Chad Mills, with a lot of other people, rounds after round. Um, so perhaps it's just the, maybe the event, maybe the night could be playing on them a little bit, but a nerves pre-fight. But a very interesting round, that one. It's hard a hard one for me to call. Both had uh, pockets of success. Got some good combinations in, in that second round that Mikey held. This fight brought to you by Green Soda. POTUS fight night, Tamaki Makoto, the Auckland War Memorial, and a great crowd in for this. Pampalone, Charolympus, the headline act later on tonight. But at the moment, it's Mikey Held, Mo Bashir, and round three. Oh. Trying to throw the right hand, but just not, qu not quite connecting. Held his best to get out of the road but he's backing up for sheer here yeah, he's trying to lift the tempo now or he is lifting the tempo and it's starting to work wonders on mobile who's still counter throwing back and countering well some good counter punching here mobile now puts a combination together on Helgu as a wee taunt not quite the time for showboating <laughs> Hell. I know up the ante as David said, but stealing focus in the eyes of the older veteran and Mo Bashir tries to unload a big right hand. Another two minutes remaining in round three. I just feel something could explode here at any moment. I feel Mo has really picked up in confidence from landing a few of those big right hands. 
Hal working the body. Got the straight right through before in the corner. And again, we'll tie it up in the center of the ring. Dan works the body. Hal kind of mix no, up his combinations. Starting to open up now. Held. Big left hand. Mikey held. And he felt the power in Mo Bashir. On the ropes here. Bashir. Got to get out of it. Held looking for the home for the uppercut. And drops him with the left body rip. Down goes Mo Bashir. And round number three, really starting to see business pick up here in this third round. Well, this is a problem when you're always backing off your opponent, someone who comes forward like Mikey. You just give them all the momentum that they want for free. The right hook. And he's paying for it right now as well. Right where he wants it, Mikey Helg in the corner again Trying to the to finish body. him off before the bell. Big left hand. Oh. And he calls it. Mikey Helg on debut has beaten Mobashir. It was a good stoppage. Mobashir wasn't fighting back. When you take a certain amount of punches without offering anything back, the referee was obligated to get in there and stop the fight so it was a good stoppage and right in the nick of time before the end of the round kickboxing background mma but he gets his first win in the boxing ring tonight against mo bashir mikey hell picking it up in the third round really up the ante david yeah, and it's great to see him showing a bit of respect for Mo at the end there. But you're exactly right. He knew he had to lift the pace. He knew that Mo was getting a little bit of momentum coming back, countering well. He knew he needed to get him on the ropes and make something happen, not just let him get escape out and dance out on the ropes. So he stopped in there. He followed him. He chased him. He unloaded when he had him standing still, and that's what forced the stoppage.